Rorschach's Journal, June 4th, 2013, waiting for the other watchmen to arrive, when all of a sudden, oh, for the love of God, John, you forgot to wear pants again. I can do anything, control anything, except my nudity. I know that Silk Spectre gives you blue balls, but this is ridiculous. Do you watch? For thousands of awesome toys and awesome prices, then go to BigBadToyStore.com! What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Watchmen, Dr. Manhattan, Silk Spectre 2, Club Black Freighter, Manny Collector.com exclusive figure. Each of the figures come in their own mailer box uh, specific to the figure. They say Watchmen, of course, on the top, and they each have a different uh, time of the Doomsday Clock, as well as it says their name. Just like Rorschach's box, each of them uh, will form a full-on message that say who watches the Watchmen. The, um, it, it, neither uh, connect to each other. I guess they separate them out but um it's cool that Mattel does that but I don't see a lot of people doing that unless you just have the space when you take them out of the Meller boxes they come in that very cool Watchmen graphic novel packaging that has the Watchmen smiley face with the blood dripping down has their names the spine of their boxes show a picture of them how they looked from the comics as well as saying Watchmen and the DC comics just like the Meller boxes the back of the packaging will uh, form Watchmen uh, you, when you collect all six, like I said, if you have the space for it, that's cool, but uh, I don't. But I also do like, you know, it looks like a graphic novel, you know, book. When you open up the packaging, you get the card and the figure in that little cool tray right there. And there's uh, Dr. Manhattan and Silk Spectres. Bill and Blue and Silky, let's review. So here we got the Watchmen, Dr. Manhattan and Silk Spectre 2 figures. Pretty cool figures, what you would uh, expect from this line. Uh, let's take a closer look at them. So let's start out with Dr. Manhattan. His skin, um, the color they chose, I do like the blue a lot, but I do wish, like, the, the DC Direct one, it had that variant translucent blue that looks like it was glowing because he is supposed to be glowing the whole time, but this is the comic one, so I understand. Um, uh, you know, I still think it's a, a pretty sweet blue. Uh, the head sculpt is good. Uh, you know, has a, a pretty stern expression, and I like that he has his symbol, the atom bomb symbol, I believe that was called. And he doesn't have any nipples, but thank God he has the trunks. Can you I know this is an adult collectible figure, but just because The Watchmen is an adult graphic novel and movie, don't we, I don't think we want like uh, his big blue dong to be around. Uh, I mean, some people might be disappointed, but... I'm sorry Mattel disappointing you on, on that aspect, but I thank God. His hands are, he has that kind of expression like, I am a god, you know, kind of like uh, hand gestures, which is pretty cool. Um, and like I said, the trunks, and one thing that's cool, oops, sorry, he has feet, Sharon Miss Prime loves them big blue toes, oh yeah, yeah, like bigger than the Smurfs, and he has um, uh, pickles at the bottom, of course, and he has his his um, jail, you know, stamp on the bottom, but it's pretty much, besides the feet and the hands, pretty much the same buck we've come to expect from Mattel. Articulation, Dr. Manhattan's head can fully rotate. Um, it does go up and down, pretty good. Arms fully rotate, go in and out, rotate at the bicep, bend at the elbow, rotate at the wrist, has a nice ab crunch forward and back. Full waist articulation, legs go forward and back, has the Go in now with the big uh, gaping crotch pit, and thank God, like I so said, we didn't have to see his gaping blue crotch. Anyway, um, the rotate at the upper part of the leg, bend at the knee, and the ankles pivot forward, but no ankle pivot side to side. Now, Silk Spectre 2 has a pretty uh, head sculpt. I do like it. Uh, her lips and her, her, uh, you know, nice blue eyes, and she has some really good detail in her hair. Um, it is. I really like the bangs, how to, and the earrings. Uh, her skull uh, collar, you don't really see it. That's only fortune. Now, what Mattel did, uh, because of um, how her costume is, they gave us this translucent yellow kind of rubbery plastic for her dress, but the arms are just the normal plastic, but they kind of have this paint that kind of looks like it's uh, it's like a mixture of of like different yellows on her skin tone to kind of look like it's translucent. I really do like that a lot since her dress is that translucent underneath. Don't mean to be pervy here, but it is like um, black, you know, black paint underneath like the normal buck. So, um, 
But yeah, uh, the hair does uh, hinder the articulation, which I'll get to, but um, it is a pretty sweet outfit. Um, the, the feet are just painted on. For articulation, Silk Spectre's head uh, <laughs> really can't move that much because of the hair. It's a really hard plastic. I wish they didn't do that. Um, so kind of sort of can move and goes up a little bit but not really the arms can fully rotate uh, just have to move around the hair going out there is no bicep swivel which kind of sucks so she can i wish they kind of made it where she had that um at least the rotating elbow but no it just bends at the elbow and rotates at the wrist she does the dress she has waist articulation but because of how the material is, can't fully rotate. It can move left and right, but then it kind of warps. It, it's like it moves. You just have to be very careful not to hold on to it. So yeah, it, it, it does rotate, so that's good. Uh, no ab crunch, unfortunately. The legs uh, do move forward and back and in and out with the great uh, crotch pits, but the dress tends to bring the legs back and it rotates at the other part of the leg, bends at the knee, and uh, ankles pivot forward, but no back. Both Dr. Manhattan and Silk Spectre 2 both come with the Watchman stand. I really do like these stands, just yellow and black, and have the the, uh, the peg right there. And both of them come with their like seven inch trading card. They they are pretty nice trading cards. Like I really like the pitch, uh, the art style, which is very reminiscent to the original graphic novel. And you can see here they do have um, a bio on each of them, which is really great. You can feel free to pause and read it for uh, Dr. Manhattan's and Silk Spectre's right here. You know, Lori, uh, Jupiter. John, how are you feeling? You humans would say, I'm feeling blue. Double D, double da, double D, double da, double D, double da. <laughs> we are 1980s characters singing a 1990s song in 2013. I do believe in miracles now. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Dr. Manhattan and Silk Spectre 2 figures are in pretty good scale with each other. You know, one should be a little taller and sh uh, shorter, but whatever. And you can see uh, how much they are shorter than the DC Direct one, like the Dr. Manhattan, and uh, how they compare to uh, other Mattel figures like the New 52 uh, Superman. Now for comic fans of Watchmen, it's really great to have figures based on their comic form compared to their movie forms. And it is nice that these figures are more articulated than those movie DC Direct ones, at least the 7-inch the ones. Um, now compared to Rorschach, which is still my favorite of the bunch, um, Dr. Manhattan does have great articulation, but I, I wish that he had more of a translucent skin, and I know he doesn't come with any accessories. I do wish he came with like some sort of stand to make him seem like he was hovering like how the DC Direct one came with different legs and a stand. And then with the Silk Spectre, I I like her sculpt, but I do wish that her articulation wasn't so hindered. And I do wish that she came with some sort of accessories, because besides the stands and the trading cards and the cool packaging, uh, these guys don't come with anything else. So that's the only bad thing. And they're 25 bucks. That's if you bought them with the subscription or through manicollector.com, uh, which they have since sold out. You can get these for BigBadToyStore.com. They're a little bit more than what Maddie Collector was selling, but it's either that or eBay. And that's it's, These figures aren't that easy to come by. But like I said, if you are a huge fan of the Watchmen graphic novel, these are definitely, it's definitely great to have uh, comic accurate figures uh, with good articulation, good sculpts from the Four Horsemen. So like I said, I... Uh, even with the flaws, I definitely recommend them for Watchmen fans or DC fans in general. For more geek news, reviews, podcasts, and more, go to bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Room, in a big way. Go to bkbn.net! Go to bkbn.net! Go to bkbn.net! I tell you to go! Go now! Welcome to Mars, Lori. You know, when you left me, I left Earth. It does not show you that I care. My red world here now means more to your blue one. Let me show you. Oh, sorry. Forgive me. These things slip my mind. Lori? Lori? In my opinion, the existence of life is a highly overrated phenomenon. Maybe I can go blow up Rorschach again.